All right, friends, we are back. I'm about to go through this door here, and we are still in Bleak Falls Barrow. This is the sanctum here. So, getting kind of close. <clears throat> All right, let's get back into sneak mode. <clears throat> Put my bow up a little bit. Kind of creepy. Creeping and crawling around here. I will tell you that it, in any video game, you have to understand the controls. Uh, I haven't played using a controller. <clears throat> I haven't played Skyrim using a controller in a while, so I made I keep pushing the wrong button uh, from when I was playing Borderlands. Yeah, Fandel says he doesn't like the looks of this. I don't like the look of it either. Either. Now I know that there's some bad guys in there. I gotta do my uh, timing trick here again, <clears throat> or else that hits me. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna teach you guys a. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys right here one way that you can get your healing up. All right. So um, I'm going to save, first of all. Pretty important I do that. Uh, this is just in case you're like, I got to get my freaking healing spells up, right? So if you can imagine, I take a hit, right? I can probably take two hits. Oop, that hurt. Now. I go here to my healing spell, hands up, and heal. Does that make sense? All right. Now, yes, it is self-injurious. I don't really recommend that. But if you want to get your healing up a little bit, find a way to get hurt. Not in combat. Combat is the worst time because you can't stop it. But like this, I can say, you know what? I can time this and take a hit. Right here, and smack. Just one hit. All right, I'm okay. Let's get another hit. And smack. All right. Now, I can heal myself up. So I'm practicing my healing. I'm using these skills. And it takes a while. There's also some fire traps where you can walk into the fire, walk out of the fire, walk into the fire, walk out of the fire. And you can get your healing up. The problem is, is you run out of that blue bar. The blue bar is your magic, huh? Without the blue bar, you can heal. So kind of keep that in mind. One, two. If I took a third hit, it probably would have killed me. Oh look, my restoration went up pretty handy, right? I'm not gonna keep doing that. Number one, it's grindy, it's boring. Number two, you guys don't wanna watch me just level my guy up like that. That's, that's uh, again, that's kind of uh, boring. All right, let's time this thing here. Anyway, uh, Rah. And yo! Yeah. Now I quickly go into my sneak and then I push the button. Alright. And there's a bad guy. I still managed to hide. Let's see. Does he see Fandal? He sees me. That sucked a whole lot. Alright. And I'm gonna run away. You guys are like, you coward, why are you running away? Well, number one, I get to heal again. Fandel, if I would have fought him, I would have gained the aggro, so I made space. Now I can go back in there and I can start plucking this guy. Alright, Fandel, you're in my way, you turn. Got him. Alright, I'm using my toggle, uh, my left toggle to move right and left rather than turning. When I turn, it's a little more erratic, right? It's, it's just a little bit more precise for me to use the left toggle to aim. It's up to you guys. It's just a technique. All right, let's go in here and see what they got. That looks like a potion. Ooh, resist cold. Might need that one day. I probably will forget to use it, which means I'm just going to carry it forever or sell it. Ah, look at there. I could drop that on top of his head and set him on fire. Should I set him on fire? No. Practice my archery. Remember, you kind of want to do that. I'm going to make some space. By the way, there's two more there. There's also, looks like some oil on the ground. I could set all that on fire. Did you guys see at the top left it said sneak attack damage? You can rewind if you want. Uh, that sneak attack damage means that I got value in my sneak. Imagine those falling down, setting that on fire, and killing me. That would be bad. 
So we definitely want to pick up crap quickly and get out of dodge. All right, this is a little tricky. I know there's bad guys up here. I gotta be careful. Oh, there he is, see him? Oh, he notices something, probably feigned out. And I fell off on purpose. Let Fane now get the aggro. Do you think Fandel is uh, taunting him? He's like, you can't beat me. It's not the best you can do. <laughs> you when you taunt someone, they want to hit you, right? That's the thing. So I used to play World of Warcraft, and I used to play um, City of Heroes, which was a great MMO RPG. Uh, which is a massively multiplayer online role-playing game. And I played the tank. I was the guy with the sword and the shield, or I was the guy that was big fire tank, and I was able to uh, take a lot of damage. And you had to be able to hold the aggro so that your other players could do damage or heal. And uh, it was really pretty cool. All right. Time to teach you guys something new. If you haven't ever been through one of these puzzle puzzle uh, deals, if I stick the thing in there, oftentimes there are darts and you get darted and poisoned, which kind of sucks. So you have to move these things, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you where to look. Go inside your items. Remember that item that you picked up, the gold claw? This thing? I rotate it, it says zoom. And look, it's a picture of a bear, uh, a moth, and an owl. Bear, moth, owl. Let's take a look and see. <clears throat> this needs to be bear, that needs to be moth, that needs to be owl. Nope. Bear, moth, owl. All right. I did it. Now you can do them individually if you want. <laughs> I just happen to know there was two clicks for each one of those. Push the key in. Back up just in case you got it wrong. <laughs> and then the door goes down. All right. Jump. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, look at that big cave. I happen to know that there's no bad guys in here, so I can just dash. Yeah, those bats scared me the first time, too. Alrighty. I also happen to know that back behind here there's treasure. Alright, pick the lock, go to the right, go to the left, ooh, right there. Oh, too far. Oh, not far enough. Mine, 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 and I'll sell that for 250 gold. <laughs> Alright, there's no, really nothing back here. I mean, you can look around if you want, but... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, did not mean to sneeze in the microphone. I bet that was loud. Alright, so... Remember, there's no bad guys that are, you're going to aggro here, so you can just zoom around this big cave right up until you push the button all right i'm sorry you uh let's see here what, what what's going on i'm stuck there is a chest right there i might need those arrows for sure if you run out of arrows you have no choice but to use magic or you can use uh melee weapons. All right, once you get this, this is your first dragon voice attack. Foos, uh, a very tough Draugr Lord comes out. Uh, you kind of want to be thinking about your life. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to die, but this guy is pretty tough. Vandell can't kill him by himself. I'm not going to be able to kill him, even helping Feindel. Sooner or later, Feindel is going to go down, which means he's going to fight me, which means I'm going to run around like a crazy man. All right. 
I'm going to try to hide. Let's get the weapon out. I'm going to loot one. Steel shield. Dwarven boots of stamina. Take those. And I'm going to get them on. It'll help me a little bit. I passed him. All right. At this stage, matching armor does not matter. It will matter later. Ooh, amulet magicka regens. Let's put that on. Just found that. All right. Got to get your life, you know, together, guys. This is a uh, crunch time. If you screw this up, he will mangle you. Now notice he's immediately attacking, right? And lucky hit. I do not want to fiddle with this guy. So I'm gonna sit back and I'm gonna shoot him. Here's why. He can one shot you. On the legendary level, he's tough. This dragon uh, dragger overlord is very tough. I do not want to miss. So I'm kind of close, but I am far enough away that I can run. Hopefully, he gets stunned a little bit and I can take him out. By the way, the longer you hold this button down, the further you pull your bow back, the stronger the attack is. If you're finding yourself kind of limply <laughs> lobbing these arrows, you need to hold your thing back. Dude, we're doing great. Maybe it's because I put all those points into my archery. What do you guys think? It's as if I played this game before. That was a whole lot easier than I remember it. I don't know. I'll need this dragon stone. We're going to turn that in. Get that. I don't need that. But I can carry it. I'll sell it. And an axe of frost. Handy. All right. Good job, Fendel. Too bad I can't give him a high five or something. So let's go up here and see what else there is. Is that a soul gem? I need that. I need that. And I've already... Nothing in there. I've already opened that. There's a bow. I can carry it. Let's just go ahead and carry it. All right. Put my weapon away. I move faster. And zoom up the stairs. And, uh oh. How in the world am I going to get through there? That looks like something. There's a handle in there. Lift it, turn it, and voila! Secret door. Took me forever to find that when I first played. All right. Before you ever jump down, because sometimes there's a troll or something bad in places like that, not this one, uh, you kind of look around, make sure you're not missing any loot or anything. Just keep the high ground. You can fight from up here. If there is something that can't jump up and get you or fly, <laughs> you want the high ground. Good, 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 good. I'll sell all that. And look at there. Blue Mountain Flower, that's pretty good. We'll take that skull too. <clears throat> and sell it. Two Skyrim. <laughs> We're totally kicking butt, guys. All right. Now, you might think, you know what? I'm just going to jump down and run over there and, you know, go back to where I want to be. You would have missed this potion. All right? When you kind of wander around enough, you stay on the high ground and you look before you do anything else. And there's Feindel. Feindel jumped down early. All right. Now... From time to time, you might notice a discoloration in the ground, like this. What do you think that is? Something to hit with the pickaxe? Corundrum. So the corundrum and iron are uh, smelted together to make a steel bar. If you want steel bars, you got to get this. Sometimes you get a gem too, which is cool. All right. I got the corundrum. By the way, once you empty it, it's empty. You can't do that forever. Trust me, there are people. There will be people that would do that literally forever, and load up in order to uh, have the materials that they need. Here's another one. I normally don't collect a whole bunch of corundrum, but you can also use corundrum to make your current armor. If you have steel armor, uh, it makes it tougher. I am wearing steel armor and dwarven boots, by the way. So you need dwarven ore to improve dwarven boots. So time is up. I'm going to show you guys 
uh, something else. Let's see. See that little uh, thing here? I could go magic item, skills, or map. Let's go to the map. Now, I could walk all the way back to Lucan here at Riverwood, or I can teleport, or fast travel. Let's fast travel. That saves me time. <clears throat> here I am, I am back. Oh, this guy must be wanting to tell me something. Come on, just give it up. Good, see you later, bud. I bet this guy wants to talk to me. Go figure. I bet he's got a quest. Dude, you got some vampire looking teeth, anyways. I don't know if I want to trust you. But, killing vampires, where do I sign up? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, Dawn Guard is uh, some downloaded content from the original game, which is pretty cool. All right, now you could go ahead and turn that thing in if you want, but there's an opportunity here to do some other stuff. Remember, we picked up some stuff. Let's start tanning. Get rid of that leather. Uh, you, you might need a couple of strips, so I'll get one or two of those, but you lose the leather to make strips. Just kind of keep that in mind. Then, let's go over here, talk to Albor. Blessed Hunting Bow, Dwarven Mace, that does better damage. It's also slower. Frost Weariness, uh... I probably need some more arrows, steel arrows, great sword, crap. I was hoping to find something magical that would let me drain life. Uh, not drain life, steel souls, yep. Rats. Okay. Dwarven boots, dwarven shield, that's kind of good. Resist frost, smithing, illusion. All right, not bad. Steel cuff boots, steel cuff helmet. All right, not bad. Some of this stuff is better than what I have, but I'm not wasting my money. I will buy that lockpick. All right, so you can buy uh, iron here to do some other stuff, to do some smithing. I'm going to save the game for a moment, since we are out of time, and I will be back directly.